hi all in the previous video we learned about the basic structure of html or how a basic html page can be made and all we study in this video we will learn about certain tags which are used to create certain objects or elements in the html page okay so we are not uh, learning all the tags in this one video there will be different parts of for this video in this video we are learning three four important tags after that continually i will post videos about the uh, different types of tags okay so let's go to this video thank you hi all we are continuing with the html tags okay so we studied about set the structure of an html uh, what for the main structure basic structure of an html which are the tags used and all now we are going to study about different types of tags and its uses okay so we'll start so tags there is another name for tags i hope you remember they are also known as elements okay so the main thing about tags are you can use infinite number of tags and its combinations all over the website or web page when you are designing a web page okay infinite combinations combinations means you can mix tags okay mixing of tags simply means like this this is a mixing right here html is a tag here also it is their head title head, body these all are mixed here together okay so that's a format of tag you can use infinite number of tags and in a normal web page you will find many tags there so first of all these elements or these tags can be categorized into two type <coughs> so tags can be categorized mainly into two types they are known as container tags and empty tags so two types of tags are there container tags and empty tags so we will go to the different types so container tags or container elements symbol we already studied that in the basic structure container tags or container elements are tags with an opening tag as well as a closing tag okay so container tags and container element we will just open our previous web page which we done in notepad++ edit with notepad++ okay this is the page we created earlier so here you can see a tag which contains opening and closing they are known as container tags head title body okay so these are the basic container tags you are learning you will study most almost uh, most of the tags that we see in html are container tags so here you can see opening and closing you know how the closing should be there should be a slash in front of that and all so why the name container tags that's another question so container tags can contain another tags okay it can hold another tags for example here html is a container tag so inside that html we are giving other tags that means it is holding something it is holding other tags okay or head inside the head we have title tags inside the title we have another uh, what text element okay so this way a tag which can hold other tags they are known as container tags or another way a tag which has opening as well as closing brackets or uh, not closing brackets sorry opening as well as closing then it is otherwise known as on tag off tag opening tag means on off tag means closing tag okay now when we write the html codes the main thing we need to study or we need to remember is when you open tag 1 that is here for example we'll just take a document okay you started with tag 1 you open tag 1 and you opened tag 2 another open another tag you open okay it can be any tag 
you have to close tag 2 before tag 1 you have to close tag 2 before tag 1 it's a closing tag so slash is there okay so this way you need to follow so if you are opening tag 1 and you are giving a tag 2 inside it you are not supposed to close tag 1 here and tag 2 here so this is the correct method okay now the wrong way uh, there can be mistakes when you are typing there can be mistakes the wrong way i will just show you instead of giving closing like this you open you close tag 1 before tag 2 so this is the wrong way okay so the previous one was the correct way and this is the wrong way so that's one common mistake that can that's a common mistake that can happen when you type the tags okay now next empty elements okay another kind of tag they are called empty elements empty elements contains only opening tag its power is only in one line its power is only in one line okay so it contains only an opening tag for example i will show i will just introduce a tag for example okay uh, it's called horizontal ruler that tag is called horizontal ruler it's a simple tag for example we will just run this page for refreshing it we will just run this page how it looks like launch in chrome you can see the page looks like this right okay so here between this i am giving a tag called hr that is horizontal roller horizontal roller so the hr tag after giving the hr tag i should save the document i saved it now i am going to the browser the old file is already opened after after editing i didn't refresh so old file is already open so just refresh it you can see a line came in between right sorry a line came in between okay so hr means horizontal roller you can give a line there and you can see that i only gave the opening tag there is no slash hr that means there is no closing tag here okay so this hr power is in this one line okay its power is in only one line so it gave the power there now other tags opening and closing tags like container tags means its power is actually when uh, whenever it starts it power starts and whenever it ends it power ends okay so that is the difference between empty element and container element okay now we studied about how to create HTML document and all now we are going to study about different types of elements or different types of tags okay uh, we will just uh, delete the HR tag for now just delete it we will study that we, we are using the tag actually now another common another one mistake uh, not a mistake actually one difference uh, we will study from the previous class here when you run the page refresh it you see that I gave these two lines in uh, two lines like this page is created for tutorials and created by Mr. Vishnu it is given in two different lines but in the result it came in one line one single line it came so for this if you need it in different lines you know in websites and all you can see different paragraphs sentences and everything so for that you need to study a tag called p tag p tag okay it's called paragraph paragraph tag okay understood paragraph tag so we will just do the paragraph tag and i will show what is the difference here so here before the first line I ended P okay and it's a container tag so you have to close it so slash P I closed it okay now let us check whether any difference is there 
we'll just open chrome and refresh yeah now you can see first paragraph it's like if you need five paragraphs you can create five p tags you can write five p tags okay that's according to your use how many times you use that is your uh what requirement okay so if you need a another paragraph for example i am just giving another paragraph this is a simple web page simple web page I'm just giving that's all yeah so you can see after saving if you refresh you can see that line okay so now this is a separate paragraph this is a separate paragraph okay and one more line we will add because we are learning something else here one more paragraph we will add p this page is you see okay now three paragraphs three paragraphs are there so hence we created three uh, give paragraph tag for these three sentence that means it will also it is not a paragraph this is not a paragraph okay because of this one is a paragraph it is coming on the next line so we can give a p tag for this also so it will be treated as a paragraph p. okay yeah so four paragraphs are there you can just check the result yeah four paragraphs are there now previous day we studied something called attributes attributes i hope you remember attributes are properties of right properties of tags attributes are properties of tags okay for showing that we will just go to a web page for your reference we will just take a website our school website itself we will take <coughs> let me just connect to the internet yeah so here i am just opening this yeah it's loading net is little bit slow here guys yeah so here you can see this text right and you can see it is different from our result here look our result is on the the each sentence is placed on the left to margin of the web browser left to margin okay so there are margins okay left margin right margin top bottom like that so our this result is on the left to margin but here in the next page the original page you can see that it is somewhat center right we can also do that it is very easy thing we can also do that so for that we need to add some properties or attributes to the um, page we created so the page we created i opened now if you need to see the first sentence in a sender position you can open you can you have the cursor the cursor should be inside the angular bracket i hope you understood here look inside the be inside the angular bracket okay here <coughs> when you study ms word and all you studied about alignment in i g c s e ms word you studied about alignment and all so same way here also align a l i g n align is equal to you if you need it in sender you can give sender okay now we will just check what is the result here save it sorry yeah save it 
we will go to our web page just refresh it yeah you can see now this came to sender right because we gave it sender same way next one we need to see it on the right side so you know the answer align is equal to right you need to give the property in double quotes okay here look the property you can give property this is a property name the attribute name align for alignment and this is the value of the property the value is sender here property name is align here value is sender property name align here value is right property name align okay so value should be given inside double quotes you can you know double quotes okay given inside double quotes and here property name or attribute name normally so after that save it we'll just refresh the page you can see that particular sentence went to right side right now we can add two more properties to the next paragraph so align is equal to left in double quotes now one more is there align is equal to justify is there justify uh, that difference you will not understand immediately if you give justify justify is for actually a long sentence you need a long sentence for that so let us do something so align is equal to justify you may not understand the difference of justify and others okay so we'll just check the result yeah so sender this is sender right left justify you will not understand justify now if you have a long sentence then only you will understand about justify we need a long sentence so we will just copy the sentence instead of typing i just copy that's all okay I just copy it, that's all and we will add it here I'm just adding it here okay instead of typing i just added a sentence and did some work here to view the whole sentence i just did a little bit formatting that's all okay yeah so here you can see it is given inside the p tag okay it is given inside the p tag closing opening and it is a justified sentence so i'm giving save option and uh, we just run this page yeah you can see the answer here and you can see once you minimize the page web page minimize it and if you drag it to smaller bigger you know the left and right margin here and here both shows the same alignment look th this is called justification okay same alignment both it will show the same alignment now instead of justification we will just give sender option now we'll just check that sender i'm giving sender here so what is the difference we will just check now what happened look here left it is different right look everything came to sender but there is no justification on the left or the right okay so that is the difference between sender and justification and four attributes we studied with p tag align sender one attribute we studied with p tag that is alignment or align okay and four values we studied that is sender right left and justify 
okay i hope you understood that part now we'll go to another tag which is called header tag okay not the uh, header tag it's heading okay it's kind of heading tag okay header tag we already studied this is the header tag heading tag okay so all other tags we are giving inside the body tag okay so heading tag is simple heading you know right when you create a document and all you will give different type headings big heading for subtitle small heading like that and all you will give now how we can apply in a web page that we are going to study okay so we have heading tag heading tag so the tag is actually h h n so h n and as usual closing h n and there's a problem with this n it's not a problem n means n means n can be equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 so instead of n you can use any numbers from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 any numbers you can use okay now what is the difference so here hn is the tag or h is the tag actually and n is there so n can be 1 to 6 numbers from 1 to 6 so we will just give what is the tag okay we will just see the difference so h 1 i am giving h 1 welcome to slash h1 save it we'll just check what is the result yeah you got a big heading here okay that is a biggest heading for that okay so h1 is used for giving a big heading like this up to this okay now we will just copy this i am just copying it without typing i am just copying it this we can change the h1 to h2 okay we i will create different uh, tags from h1 to h3 so that you will understand that so h1 h2 okay now i need h3 so i just pasted it and deleted the one and typed h3 h4 is there right so h4 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 and we need h5 and h6 h5 i am deleting 4 and giving 5 it's six for easiness i gave like this okay and to show what how the different levels of heading can be given so h1 to h6 are there now we can just save it and check the result yeah you understood the result i think this is the h1 h2 subheading h3 again subheading h4 h5 h6 okay so five levels of headings can be given in a page so uh, anywhere you can use it okay anywhere you need a heading you can use it there and any uh, you can use h1 or h6 it's according to your requirement you can use so that is heading 
tag okay so we are doing the doing we can do all the tags in one uh, what page okay it will be easy that's why because you don't need to create each one by one pages there and after all the tags uh, after learning all the tags we will do it and create a web page with all the tags in a proper arrangement okay and next to tag we'll study <coughs> I just changed the sender to justification. Okay, nothing else did. Okay, now you can see a sentence here, right? Tris is a premier education Mel institution in Korchi, Kottayam, catering to the educational needs of kindergarten, primary, middle school, and all. And you know, in our when we created, it came like this. About five lines, it came. It's according to because I gave enter here. So it is about five lines and here you can see about three lines only. okay imagine I need I need what this particular sentence from here onwards I need down on the next line I need so I just put enter key it came to next line I saved it refreshed it no it didn't came in came on next line right it is at the same line so how this can be solved two ways are there you can give two paragraphs instead of that very easily you can do with uh, one thing there's a simple tag called BR tag okay simple tag that is called BR so BR means line breaker. B R line breaker. Okay. So it will give you a line before this sentence. So I gave here. Here means or here also you can give last of the previous sentence or on the first before the sentence before the starting of the of this sentence also you can give anywhere you can give both same effect. Okay. So I just gave it, saved it, going to check the result. Now it came, it gave you a line, new line. Okay, it's uh, different names, new line or breaker, line breaker, different lines are there. Imagine you need about three spaces in between these two paragraph, three line spaces. So you can do, how you can do, you can give. You don't need to press center. I'm just pressing okay. BR. Three spaces I need. One already there. BR. Again. BR. Okay. I saved it. We'll check the result. Okay. You got three spaces there. Right. Because I gave three times BR tag. Understood. So this way easily you can give the BR tag and give the line breakers okay or line breaks now one tag already we studied when I explained about um, empty elements or empty tags we studied HR tag just we will just give its application one more application we will give we can give properties to that okay like align is a property to paragraph tag same way we can give another property to HR tag so I think um, seeing this all the headings is little bit what weird so we'll just delete this for now delete yeah now here i will give hr tag hr horizontal roller save it we'll just check the result you know what is the result a line came okay a simple line maybe a gray color line yeah it's not black it's a gray color line if you need to give different colors to the line and you can use if you need two lines you can give two hr okay no issue for that just show that also yeah two lines you got 
now if you need to give colors for the line there is a property called color okay we will give that color so i gave the attribute color we are not giving normal english british spelling of color c o l o u r we cannot give it is error here so we have to give color c o l o r american spelling we have to give so i gave color here saved it checked yeah you can see the line came in red color okay and if you need another color for the next line you can give same way color equal to blue just giving okay color just check it yeah you got a blue line and it's a simple small line right if you need to increase the size of the line you can use another attribute in the same line you can use okay so this color attribute is meant for the first hr and if you give inside the this angular bracket which means it is meant for the first hr okay it is inside the first hr if you give the next you can give the next attribute you can give any any number of attributes like this if it is meant for that particular tag that attribute will work you can give any number of attribute in this angular brackets that's a you will study that okay so size is equal to maybe 25 i gave okay maybe 25 or something i gave let's check yeah size look its size increased right so we didn't give double quotes here numbers if you give without double quotes it will work okay numbers if you give without double quotes it will work and again we are giving another size is equal to mm, 50 <coughs> so we'll just save it check refresh yeah so it is 25 this is 50 so this way you can give different colors different size for the hr tag that is horizontal roller tag okay so we have used here some container elements like html head title p tag paragraph tag and all and we used some attributes for paragraph tag only one attribute we study that is align we study more attributes then we used to some empty elements that is only opening tag hr tag hr br tag okay these two are the main empty elements okay or empty tags so yeah 